Uh, this is Gold Captain here, and today I'm going to review Transformer The Last Night Lead Class Megatron. So as you can see, he is big now because because he uh, he is big now and he has flames. So let's get get into the box. So uh, there's a premium edition logo and Megatron himself. And yeah, on the bottom, same thing. To the right is Megatron. Versus Taiwan, it says in the bio. You want to look at it, and yeah, there we go. And also including the the ability to re to review a mask, like face place actually. And there's Optimus Prime itself, and I'm not gonna buy that one because I already bought the Jacal one because this one is crap. But yeah, on the top. Nothing else, and uh, yeah. So uh, let's take a look at Megatron himself. So, wow, this guy is the most biggest jet, jet ever because he is big. And oh, there is sword. And I don't know. It just it kind of reminds me when I hold it like a axe or something. It would be good. And it sort of reminds me when. Activision just put this in the Modern Warfare Remastered. It's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a bit weird. Because when you just kill someone with this thing. But overall, uh, this thing looked decent. And he comes with flames, that I, like I said. So uh, I carefully put them off because of that panel thing. Uh, and this one too. And yeah. So there is jet mode, and he has. It's kind of have a nice paint apps and some cleanish uh, top because well, it's just better than the uh, Voyager, I guess, because this one is kind of a bit smooth. But um, this one is kind of a bit awkward, obviously, ex minus the feet because it left some few gaps and stuff. So yeah, this one's not bad. And when you press this, it's opening some cold nose canyon. So uh, it's not that. So it's kind of be cool. And you can put the flame in there, but I'm not gonna do it. But Let's put this one back before you just collapse it. So uh, it has some good paint apps on the bottom. Oh yeah, there's the there's like a stand, which you make him stand like like a stash like a pose, and uh, yeah, it has some nice Cybertronian gloves in there. I don't know why it's kind of reminds me of Chinese because I'm always thinking of something Chinese than just Cybertronian, but this annoying thing. So the comparison. With the Voyager class, the costume I made, uh, it, it is big, and uh, yeah. So to transform him, uh, you take the panel. On the back, like so, and then you untab it from the legs, like so, and you just collapse this thing before that, and you untab it, like so, get it outside too. And I'll get this one out of the way and collapse into it, like so. But before that, you have to take the entire section of the wing and just like. Just put it over so that it could hinder it, obviously, and rotate it the opposite way. And do we feel the back thing? Do the same thing too. And untap it. Untap this thing. Put that entire section. And there. And. This thing back 
before you just will hit them. And yeah. And untap the legs. Untap onto it because it's going to be hindered onto it. This one actually. Mm. Uh, yeah. So uh, so uh, collapse this thing. We're just going to tap in here. Like so. Flip the thruster and pull it up and then collapse the panel. Do the same thing. Collapse it and flip up the heels and close the panel. And so it's getting big now. So um untap this thing and then you just try actually try to split the left arm first because that thing is just going to be his right arm actually so I flip down the chest get him out of the way and then just untap from that thing and then just rotate it collapse this thing and throw it out there oh push out the hand do the same thing too but with the canyon And it's getting tricky. All you do is just untap it and try to just collapse it into the canyon and just push the arm out and to refill this arm. And if you ignore the fact that it's keep on tapping itself, so uh, tap this thing. Just make sure this thing is just slide down entirely. So press this thing and pull out the the nose canyon to become a his canyon. And that uh, and not for that least, pull out his head and then collapse it into his body. And there you have Megatron in his robot mode so there is Megatron in his robot mode and well um I kinda I kinda like his bulkier design but uh, I don't know the only problem is that he's kinda bit too bulky and not seem very accurate and also the canyon but I don't mind in canyon because it looks big and heavy and oh I dropped the fortune one and what did I think about the gorilla arm, the gab? Um, yeah, uh, I just don't mind, but it could have been done better. Like the Forger one, which is supposed to have face mask, and this little class actually does have a face mask. So press it down to reveal a mouth of Megatron. And yeah, it's kind of a bit goofy, but it looks pretty decent and very detailed, but kind of a bit off, but he's not that bad. So, you come back around his back, there is a lever, so you just press it up and turn him back to his battle mask. So, uh, yeah, so the articulation of him is his head can turn left or right normally because uh, the hinduation uh the chest his head can go up and down and his arm can go all the way 180 and can go up and down rotate elbow wrist rotation knuckle yeah no wrist rotation legs can go Nice ratchet joint because I thought it's going to be stiff, but nice ratchet though. And go down. And if you ignore this thing because this is going to be transformation, his knees can go like that. If. Or if. Yeah. And his he can rotate. And. His knees, his toe can go up and down, and his feet can go pivot, which is nice because he has some pretty decent articulation actually. But 
it's kind of been inadequate because of this bulkier design, but overall, he's quite a bit nice. But he also comes with, I don't want to get him a stand because this is tricky. He comes with an axe. Mm, yeah, and you can plug it to his hand. Like, if you kelf, like, if you slightly put his hand correctly, and yeah. There is X, and he's ready to slice some people up, but he didn't really use his X. It's kind of a disappointing, but yeah, to get comparison with the Voyager one. Well, although this one is more accurate because of his the design, like... Not so bulky is which is more accurate to the movie. The the difference is a skirt piece with this one. This one is more accurate from the movie, while this one is it just sacrificed to transform into jet. And also it's kind of it's slightly apart from the couch. Like like that skirt the front skirt is kinda of bit bigger. Well this one is more slightly more small just make it more accurate. Also, the difference is the banner mask, of course, which this Voyager lacked. Yeah, and he also lacked, uh, like, like this guy has, and this one has great little arms. Yeah, and he doesn't have fist rotation, and his candy is bigger, but but this guy is bigger, so uh, let's take, take ask an axe and see the comparison. Well, this one is more bigger than this one, but I don't know if it's, if it's remote, but they made it bigger, so um, yeah. Also, the comparison with the last night prime. Hmm himself and caliber Optimus Prime hmm he's slightly a bit taller but I don't know if I could make a stop motion but I'll try so uh yeah he is a decent figure despite how bulkier and how inaccurate he was because it's Face and his canyon is his little arms and maybe his back but he's a pretty decent figure he's not that bad but yeah I think it's totally worth it because of the battle mask it's great so uh, what you do with these is you can actually plug it into the canyon but I'm gonna do it anyway because Make sure it's tightly and do not block it because I'm afraid it's, it's going to break, but yeah. And also you can hold his fire on his hand, like really, and he, you can have him store on his back for some reason or not. But I like saw his back because he looks like he's, it's the, the fire is coming out from his canyon. Wow, is this is gonna break? Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and peace.